things you'll need are shrink paper, scissor, gloves for the resin, a thin tool, some glue, the resin itself, a UV lamp to cure the resin, and pins to put on the back. And you'll also be needing a printer. So first up, you have to make your art. So I decided to make some versions of a cute weaver bean. I started out sketching, then I went to uh, Paintstorm. So I think they have a nice line art tool. The colouring I go back to Photoshop. My favourite one is the die on the side. I think it's turned out really cute. Not the sat one, the angry one. So when you're done. You set them up on a piece of A4 paper that you're going to print them on. And before you print, remember to put the opacity to 50%. That's at least how my shrink paper works. So read the instructions on the paper that came with it. I just print them normally, no fancy paper settings. I do scale them so they fit, uh, fit on the paper. Here we go. All printed out. Ready for cutting. Let's do a magic trick. Yay! And you warm your oven to 100 degrees. Remember to have good space beside them so they don't stick to each other. Put them in, they start to curl. It's really interesting to look at. So you let them stay in the oven until they curl up, and you take them out when they're curled out. Be careful to leave them in there too long, they will brown on the top because of the heat. Check them out, remember to uh, flatten them out with something heavy, like right when you check them out so they're still warm and bendable. And here we are. Remember that shrink foam is not like 100% the same result. See, some of them are a bit bigger and some of them screw. Here we go to the rest. Remember to put on your gloves before you start. And you just Fill it on. I usually cover the middle with the resin. And then I take my thin tool and like cover the sides. Just to get it all out. Remember to pop all the bu bubbles you see before you put them in the uh, UV lamp. Slide it onto a piece of paper and just put it in there. I leave my resin on for two minutes. Let me take it out. And here we go. Nice smooth surface. So this one got a lot of bubbles and I didn't really know why. Uh, so I tried again. 
and became less bubbles. And I'll try it again, being real careful, not moving around too much with the UV resin. And here we go, really nice result. After the final step, put on the pin bag. Just take your choice of glue. Dip it in the glue and put it on the back. Sorry I took this off screen, so I'm going to show you some close-ups of the pen. There we go, all glued on. Oh, shiny. And you can pin it on your favourite bag, your favourite clothes, gift it to a friend whatever you need it for. It's really easy and real nice. You can draw whatever you want. So customizable. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you!